think of that conference call yesterday with uh, with Kobe? That was fun, huh? Yeah, that guy always like talk a bunch of smack and had to talk back a little bit. Too, you, know? <laughs> you you seem very comfortable and, and loose and, and 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 confident on the call. Like you weren't letting his trash talk get to you at all. Uh, why why was that? I knew what's coming already. He always come with the same jokes and, you know, copying someone and, you know, like those weak jokes and I knew what's coming already. Do you, do you kind of just think, I mean, how, how do you view him when he says all these things? Like, how, what, what's going through your head? I think, like, he's embarrassing himself. It's embarrassing, you know, sometimes to watch or he's, you know. I'm not healing, like, really into social media, but, and... I don't, I even don't have Instagram on my phone, you know. And <laughs> We're on Instagram right now. <laughs> <laughs> Live. <laughs> my wife handles everything and I don't even, you know, look at it. But, you know, sometimes you see something that he's supposed to like, uh, some, some friend show me or something. It, it's just embarrassing. Man. Yeah. I well, feel bad for him. <laughs> Do you think it's scripted? What I mean, like, do you so. think somebody write like that? He's reading it off of you know a, a script that he's come up with stuff. In his yeah, head. yeah. I feel I feel like it's you know like it's it's so fake you know and it's all combined of people like you know they acting and it's it's not it's it's embarrassing. <laughs> do you feel though? I mean, you know, he said a lot of things about Brazilians and Brazil. Um, do you feel you sort of have to win not only for yourself but for your country and and for your fellow countrymen? Yeah, I feel like a lot of Brazilian. Everything that I post, everything I, when I meet Brazilians, they always say the same thing: "You gotta kill this guy, you gotta kill this guy." But you know, I I've, I've been on this position, you know, before. I'm, you know, I've been, uh, I have a lot of ups and downs on the cage, on my life, on my career, and it's my 38th fight and. You know, it's a lot of fights, and I know. Thank you. I know that that what I have to do to win, and I don't take this as a pressure. You know, I have to win anyway. It's for my, you know, for me. I need, I need that. Yeah. You know, nobody want want any more than I that I want, and that's why I will win. And but you know, it you know, it's just like it's part of. He he trying to do this to promote himself and. I think it's on the wrong way, and but you know, everything will be solved Saturday. So there's no extra emotion going in to this one. Not really, not really. I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I'm a cold-blooded fight, fighter. You know, once I step on the octagon, that's there is no trash talk and just two guys and fighting, you know, clean with rules and, you know, I, I, I don't have a. a, a of course, give me a little extra mo motiv motivation, but it's not something that I'm gonna care of inside the cage, you know. And I have a lot of motivation, you know, with my kids, with my family. I have to provide for them, you know. I'm a very competitive guy too. I you know I want to win, and but you know, it'll be it'll be a good fight.